Look at that beautiful truck. We got a lot of stuff to do this morning. We got workers all around this farm working their behinds off. We're hauling some soybeans to the co-op really quick. Then I need to get this truck over so it can unload the harvesters working in the field. Let's get to it. I just love the looks of this cab at night. Such everything's light up. Really have a hard time seeing though. It is early, early in the morning here. I'm trying to get this all planted in before we uh, the crops. It's too late for our double crops, so we have a lot of stuff to do. There is movement all around this farm right now. First thing I need to do, I need to haul this grain. Man, I need to take this jake break off when I'm around at the farm. But I need to haul this grain first, and then hopefully I can get this truck over and we can finish harvesting. If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail When I'm lost and erased If I cry when I'm blue If I cry alone when I am with you, will you All right, so I'm getting the second load of soybeans ready to haul. So we're hauling all of our last year's soybeans. So uh, it's kind of ironic. We are just planting this year's soybeans and we are just selling last year's soybeans. This is not all the soybeans we have last year. We still have way more. We still have to sell on the global market. So uh, we're still waiting for that to go. Uh, I need to get this truck back quick, back to the other guys so they can uh, back to the field. I'm gonna haul the canola directly to customs lot so that way that won't even come back here to the farmyard. I think it'll work out nice. Everything at the farmyard here will sell at the local co-op and everything else will sell globally. So that was the last of the soybeans we just offloaded right there. So uh, we got about uh, 1250. So not a great price, but not a bad price. Uh, we just can't move that much grain on the global market. So I'm thinking, uh, it's probably smart just to sell at high times here in at the local co-ops and everything. You've got to support your local community, right? We finally have to get this truck over to our uh, field we are harvesting over here. We've been uh, they've been waiting patiently for about uh, the last hour or so. Let's go find Pinky. You guys probably don't know who Pinky is. Pinky was named during the live stream. So uh, Pinky's, uh, let's just say it's Farm Boy's favorite piece of equipment on the farm. So you gotta kinda excuse him right now, but Pinky is uh, bright pink, supporting breast cancer. So you gotta support all the victims nowadays more than ever. So uh, we are going to take this 8530, unload it quickly, and then uh, all these harvesters get back to running. A lot of stuff going on. So we got this going on. We got our uh, planters running. Man, I cannot get over how quickly this 8530 pulls this uh, this giant grain cart. Doesn't even feel like it's back there. I mean, we are flying. 
very easily to drive this thing around this field. Uh, it's kind of bad that that brace is kind of in the way right there. There, we can kind of see a little bit. Man, this thing is dirty. We definitely need to wash this equipment off. This equipment's definitely need it's a good freaking scrubbing after this year. So uh, we've been so busy in the field, just uh, jobbing it really hard that uh, we haven't had time to even uh, start uh, washing off old Pinky here. Pinky needs to get back to uh, bright pink. Kind of if you back up just a hair, kind of works that way. You can really see. Wish there was a uh, a light on the unload auger. All right, just unloaded that harvester. I'm going to try to go down this uh, waterway, this grassway, Wadley. I don't know exactly what this thing is called. Uh, Got to wait for this. Can I scoot in? Oh, 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 oh. I thought I could uh, scoot right by, but apparently not. They had other plans there. Come on, I need Pinky to fly. All right. Yep, yep. Come on. Move it. Kind of getting a lot of green grass in that harvester, buddy. Canola is definitely not the easiest to uh, harvest, so definitely very vine viney, I guess, and kind of clogs up, runs through that uh, the head all at one time sometimes. That's why a lot of people uh, swath it down and then... Uh, harvest the windrows afterwards. We don't really have that option around here. Man, I just can't get over how much horsepower this uh, 8530 has. This thing flies around this field. Unloading the smallest uh, 45 foot head harvester ever known. The T560i. That thing have you ever seen a head that weighs the same weight as the harvester? That's it, right there. That head's got to weigh about the same as that harvester. Draper heads are definitely not light. Man. And it has a real small unload auger, so it takes a little time to unload. Alright. Pinky is a, just about full. Has a little bit left in uh, yep. So, I uh, think I'm going to run over to, run this over to the truck so I can haul this quickly. And I'm going to haul this up to the customs lot. I got to keep track of how much I'm hauling up there because, uh, being I'm hauling it straight out of this field. Run around here, man. I'm so glad, uh, I'm so glad Farm Boy got this 8530. So this isn't our 8530. We actually we have a good uh, partnership with our local uh, neighbor, Farm Boy. We use his harvester, his tractors, his equipment. He uses our stuff. He helps basically uh, plant our fields. He does a lot of work for us for free. And uh, that helps us out a ton. All right, we're just filling the back hopper up into this, uh, into our little uh, box here, into our little uh, Wilson trailer. All right, that's uh, just about. I think I might go over here and unload uh, our big harvester here. Man, this field is. Uh, going by quickly so we probably have it halfway done already and it's not even the sun is just peeking up above them trees if you could see it right there it's kind of kind of a beautiful morning we definitely worked all the way through the night but uh we need to get this is what you have to do when uh the crops are dry and it's ready to get in the field yep He's already a flashing, which means I think he's 85% full, so that means we need to unload him. Hopefully he can turn around, because uh, we can't unload him 
on the crops. Hoping to get about three truckloads, maybe, off of this field. So I'd be happy, extremely happy, if we got three truckloads of uh, canola off this field. go we're gonna unload pinky's gonna unload on the go here gotta get a little bit closer it is really hard unloading when it's uh just when the sun is just coming up it's that's the hardest time to see because you got a lot of glare it's a lot hard easier to see when it's a pitch dark night with the stars shining Man, Pinky really shines when the light's on it, doesn't it? Even though it's uh, extremely dirty over there. Man, it's hard keeping up with all this stuff. I'm going to have to tell uh, Farm Boy he needs to get around here. He needs to wake up early enough, so... Farm Boy ended up going to sleep real late, so... Uh, he is not up yet this morning, so needs to get around so I'm sure he's gonna do his part later on he needs to be around I mean it's hard enough keeping up with all these harvesters would like to get another uh, farm hand started on the planting but right now I'm just so busy uh, running these harvesters that I, I can't even uh, get over to the planter all right we'll go on load little bitty when I, while we're unloading little bitty here, I'm going to get on my phone and look at a few options. I've been thinking about maybe a planter. First, we've got to get our reward prize box there. Got a prize box. What do we get for prizes? Probably just a little bit. So this is where I wanted to go. So I'm, I'm looking at these new equipments this is really the place where you have to uh, purchase this stuff you can't really purchase it you get a little bit so we actually contacted i forget which person i think casey's farm equipment about uh elmer's hallmaster so we're thinking about purchasing an elmer's hallmaster but i'm really thinking about purchasing uh, another planter. I would like getting into a multi-seater planter really cheap. Uh, I don't know exactly which planter I want. Uh, this thing, I don't know why this planter right here is so much money. Don't get why that's so expensive. So it's not really that wide or anything. So the tandem planter, but oh well. Uh, you really have to contact these people to see if you can get a better price. And I was looking for the case, the big planter, the big boy, the 60 foot. Wouldn't mind having that, the air drill. This is what I was thinking, a big 60 foot uh, case air drill. I just think this would be great for the farm, 18.2 uh, meters. So, I don't know. I mean, how much does this cost to lease? 10000 Hmm. That could be an option. Cost per day costs 4000 Hmm. With, so, we'd have to get this. This is uh, 2000 Hmm. That, that's awful tempting right there. All right, so unloading here, unload Pinky real quick. Ooh, wow. Oh, Pearl, it's definitely a little dirty in here. So I'm thinking about maybe uh, chiming this. I wanna see just how long it takes to get to the customs lot in back. We're going to try this, try to get this as uh, quick as possible. So, 
got to run up this big hill. It's about a few miles down the road. So this is going to be the quickest trip ever, hopefully. Come on, Pearl. Get it running. Get it moving. You can do it. You can do it, Pearl. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Got to take that at a good angle there. Oh. Uh, I think I, I lost a little. Oh, wow. Spencer TV is coming down real quick there. That was a close call. Real close call. So I did not see. So that was a close call with Spencer TV, but we missed him. We missed him by a hair. A lot of work going on here. So we are, uh, we kind of, that slowed us down a few seconds there, that's for sure. Now the question is, uh, do we stop the timer when we unload or do we just keep, I think we'll just keep the timer running while we unload this, get back. Oh, oh, oh. Unload this really quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're about at two minutes right now, so uh, come on, hurry up. Come on, Pearl. Come on, Pearl, you can do it. You can do it, Pearl. Pearl is really trying here. Definitely got the downhill advantage now going for us. Hopefully we don't have another uh, humongous 45-foot uh, head to uh, near miss. All right, all right. Can we get it under five minutes? Come on, buddy. We're going to take this at extremely high speed right here, so this might be a little bit dangerous, but it, it's all in the sake of a race. Oh, we got under five minutes. I think we can stop the timer now. So what, about four minutes and 45 seconds. Raced up there and raced back. I don't know if that's fast or not. And we might fill this truck completely up here. Might, might happen. Pretty close, so I think we are on the last pass here. Then we're gonna have to haul all this equipment back to the farmyard. Hopefully, then I need to go get a load of seed from to fill up the planter, and that would basically be a farm boy's job. He needs to plant all these fields up. Yeah, farm boy owes it to us because, look, I mean, most of the equipment here we're using is ours. Let little bitty go by there. No, no, little bitty didn't intimidate us. It was, uh, we just, uh, Felt a little bad for little bitty. So we let him go by. We got this little itty bitty stretch, and then I believe this field, we might have a few uh, slivers here on the end to uh, basically clean up. I think we got this field was fully lined and uh, had all. So this was field was fully fertilized and limed and plowed, so. That wasn't a big issue for us, which was good because uh, we didn't feel like uh, having to do that on this field. All right, so we are done with this field, I believe. I think we're done. Oh, it looks like Farm Boy finally shows up. It's about time, Farm Boy. About time you wake up over there, Farm Boy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of stayed up way too late watching Netflix last night. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Netflix is more important than uh, getting this harvested, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I'm going to have to spend all day planting them, I guess, to make up for it. Yep, yep. So, you didn't get to run Pinky. I got to run it for you, so. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, man. I think we're going to overheat our pressure washer getting all this equipment cleaned up. This is, <laughs> this stuff is like caked with mud everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna actually take, run this truck 
up there. We actually we'll haul these uh, harvesters back, so we'll get them back to the farmyard. That way, we can leave them there. I'm not even gonna worry about the head. We don't have to go that far, so. Ooh, look at that little bitty. Cut us off. Actually, I think really gets up go. little bitty can actually uh, go faster than me. Uh, 26. I don't know if I can go 26 or not. Well, we're gonna see. Let's see. It's a race off. Oh, oh, yep. He ditched it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that head is so heavy, man. Hey, uh, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it in. He's not using his hazards or flashers, so. <laughs> oh, we almost got stopped by a train, but we probably won't by the time we get up there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was actually running that uh, semi. You know how you have to really get it running hard to get it up yeah. that hill. So yeah. I, I wasn't even paying attention, and all of a sudden, Spencer TV was right there with his 45 foot head. I was just like, it was a near miss for both of us. It was just like, <laughs> we were both like half awake probably running and yeah, it was bad. So, all right, so we're just at the station right here. So I'm picking up some seed pallets real quick here. So I uh, got to load these seed pallets up. Got to put them on to our uh, little flatbed here and then haul them back. So, uh. Uh, farm boy can uh, actually, beans he's actually awake finally, can uh, help us out and uh, basically uh, plant all of our fields. Oh yeah guys, like I said, the 8530 is now the new planting tractor. She is. Oh yeah. Using the 8530, I guess. Yes sir. Uh, now that you have enough front weight. Yep, she was kind of popping wheelies earlier. But... Yep kind of surprising with that big old loader on there and still popping wheelies. Alright, so we got five pallet loads of seed right here, so we're going to run that back here really quick, put a few more straps down on here. Uh, there's another one could go right there, right there, there we go. We'll run this back, and then we should be done for the day.
Ooh, wow. Farm boy, he's already getting his stuff planted right here. He's got a big load of uh, seed coming up here. I think we got enough fertilized on the farm. Might have to go get a another load real quick. Or at least fill up our fertilized spreader. Here, we are definitely critiquing him. You gotta watch this farm boy. Sometimes, oh, what? What's this? What's this, farm boy? What's this? Oh, no. Oh, that's coming out of your paycheck, buddy. Hey, uh, farm boy. You missed the spot. Don't, don't, don't say it. Don't even say it. Don't even it's say it. one, two, three, four spots, actually. Uh, that was the planner. Um. Yeah. Not sure. So, uh. So uh, how is that said eighty five thirty uh treating you? I mean you can see the only issue here. That planted a little heavy, but man, she gets she pulls her way better than the eight off. Yeah, you got a little uh, what do they call this, the bulldoze or uh bulldog stance here? The South Carolina <laughs> the yeah. South Carolina lift here. What are you yeah. trying to do to this old poor thing? Yep, I see it. Alright, so uh thank you for planting. Oh, remember, we got the two new fields over there. You gotta plant them too. So. Oh uh, yeah, I was planting. That's my next job there. Okay. So uh, in remember the old pr pasture land over there, and then uh, oh, yes. and then any other field you might want to plant, like this one across the street. Let's plant that really quick. What about, what about 27? Yeah, 27 too. Plant that. We'll uh, we'll pay you a total of fifty dollars for that. You Dude, that's provide a deal the right there. Okay. All right, thank you all for watching. I will see you later over here on FSN. See you, boys. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.